application series in YouTube tutorials. Today uh, we'll be doing a test in Excel and it's a non-parametric version of the two-way ANOVA. It's called Friedman's test. So if you're new to this, there are four treatments in this particular question, which I took from the source there on row one. So we have restaurant A, B, C, and D. And the same six testers went to each restaurant and raced each restaurant individually. So what is a non-parametric test? In this particular instance, so I'll just go down here. So main thing here is we assume the variance, if you're using the two-way ANOVA or the one-way for that matter, that the variance is amongst each group are the same and the data is normally distributed. Okay, if those, it's mainly those two, if those two conditions fail, you'd use the Friedman rank test. So we're assuming that uh, either the data is not normally distributed or the variances for each group are the same. And by group, I mean here restaurant A, B, C, and D. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to see is the median score for restaurant A, B, C, and D. That's, oh, we're going to take the mean here. Is the mean score the same? Now, just eyeballing, as they say, restaurant B doesn't appear to be doing so great. So how do we get these ranks? We did rank.average. So we ring the right, we put rank C7 from C7 to F7, comma one. In other words, the lowest score is one and the highest score is four. And why do we need a rank dot average rather than rank? Because on rate or five gave 84 here and 84 there. So that would be rank one, that's rank two, that's rank three, and we'll get to get the average which is two and a half so I hope that's okay uh, the dollars when I drag this right dollar C7 colon dollar F7 right the dollars in front of the C and the F so that becomes the C7 becoming D7 E7 and stops the F7 becoming G7 7 etc and the comma one gives the lowest score one and the highest score four in this case if you are doing this by hand, you can just do a little check to see are the ranks right. You can sum the ranks and then you can just check here. Does the sum of the ranks equals the rows by the columns, brackets, columns, and so on over two. And there's my little formula there that will do that for you. So, but when you're doing it by Excel, there's no reason to do it, just to show you. So, Next thing is you get the Friedman score. I broke it up into three groups. I did the 12 over the R C, C plus one. I did the sum of the R squared and I did the minus three R times C plus one. I copied and pasted the formulas above to give you an idea of how to do it. And we have a sum squared here i14 to f14 so that would say i14 squared plus j14 plus k14 plus sorry i14 squared plus j14 squared plus k14 squared plus l14 squared minus 3r times c plus 1 so i think that's handy enough i got my score of 16.25 okay so the treatment effects of the same means, medians, I think. So there's a bit of argument over which is which, but really we're saying the average score is the same. HA, at least one of the means differ. And we're testing at 5% here. I go down a little bit. I did a screen grab. So we had four treatments there at six blocks so the critical value is 7.6 what's just go up a little bit let's go back here our Friedman score 
16.25 is greater than the critical value 7.6 there we have therefore we have reason to reject it and if, sorry for jumping but we just go down a little bit I think I have a little cut and paste here it's kind of so we're there uh, we got 16 the critical value is 7.6 so we're in the area of rejection so we're you know we're saying there's no way that all four means are the same uh, just one other thing if the data samples are large you can use a choice squared approximation for the one way and that source that I gave in line one uses that but I'm just doing the two way and over one final thing to show you uh, there's an online site an online calculator it's on or right there in, in A122 you bang the numbers in here it does the ranks for you on the left there and you get 16.25 etc and he was doing it with a choice squared uh, 3 and he got a probability of 0 0.001 so he's saying 0 0.001 there's one chance in a thousand that the four means are the same okay so hope that helps thanks very much for listening